The Canadian Patrol Frigate Program was a set of 12 frigates for the Canadian Navy built by St. John Shipbuilding in St. John, New Brunswick and MIL Davy in Sorel, Quebec. The ships were originally fit with rubber stave bearings, but when they were not able to meet operation and noise requirements, Thordon was asked to replace the existing bearings. Thordon's proposal to the Navy and St. John Shipbuilding was to remove the existing rubber dovetail staves and machine the carrier to accept a compact bearing in two half sections. The bronze carrier was machined to remove the old dovetail carriers and keys were placed at the split lines at 3 and 9 o'clock. These keys in the Canadian patrol frigates were held in place by a series of screws and dowel pins. The bearing half sections were frozen down in liquid nitrogen in a specially designed container. The sections were immersed in liquid nitrogen for approximately 20 minutes prior to installation. After 20 minutes of freezing, the half bearing shell was removed from the liquid nitrogen and installed in the bronze carrier. The half shell is pushed almost to the end to the keeper ring but a small space for thermal growth is left as the bearings will warm up. In addition, an additional space is left for absorption and thermal growth of the bearing in operation. A space is left between sections of the bearing as well, again to allow for growth as the bearings warm up. The bearings are clamped to ensure contact with the keys and the bronze carrier. HMCS Protecteur is an AOR, Auxiliary Euler Replenisher, used for replenishing the fleet of the Canadian Navy. It is a single screw ship. Thordon was requested to replace the existing Linea Vitae bearings with a compact split bearing in four sections installed in the bronze carrier. Bearing sections were frozen down in liquid nitrogen for installation in the bronze carrier. The bearings were frozen in liquid nitrogen for 20 minutes prior to installation in the bronze carrier. The first section was pushed up against the stop block in the carrier to determine bearing position. All four sections were installed and clamped back to the edge to ensure that the edges sat flush against the key and bronze carrier. Heat lamps were also used in this installation to hasten the warming up process due to the tight delivery schedule with the customer. The compact bearings were pre-machined prior to installation and were fully ready for installation in the ship once they had returned to their normal temperature. After final installation, the ID of the bearing was checked with the two halves put together prior to installation back into the ship.